In this tutorial, we're going to review utilizing 7 Cents with nurture campaigns and utilizing webhooks. I've already gone ahead and set up a traditional nurture campaign. As you can see here, this is really just a basic workflow. Somebody has filled out this form, they're sent an email immediately, delay for three days, send another email, delay three days, send another email, delay three days, send another email, workflow end. So this is the way, again, a basic nurture campaign is set up. What I want to do is I want to integrate 7 Cents into this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and clone this workflow. And we're going to say traditional nurture campaign with 7 Cents. And so I'm going to go back up here to the top. And inside of the enrollment criteria, the one thing that we will need to change here is the re-enrollment option. So we're going to say allow contacts who meet the criteria to re-enroll when any of the following occurs. They are manually enrolled because 7 Cents is just going to continually re-enroll these folks into the workflow or anybody coming in. So I'm going to click Save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple if-then branch. And I'm going to say if the contact was sent, email, tutorial, email one, which is the first email. I'm going to click save. I'm going to move all branches to the no. So I'm going to say insert branch. And what this is saying is when somebody comes in, were they sent the first email? If no, send them the first email, delay for three days, and then I'm going to trigger a webhook. And this is going to be a post, and we'll go ahead and we'll just click Save for now, and we'll go back and fill out that information. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete the rest of the fields that are after this. Or the rest of the actions. So then, after a webhook is triggered, to 7 cents, 7 cents is going to determine when in the next 24 hours is the most optimal time for each individual. And that's based on their interaction history or engagement history with you. So at that point, we would then re enroll them back into the top of the workflow, which is why we have to add these if then branches so that we don't continue to spam them with the same email. So as I re enroll, we'll call her Sarah. Back into the workflow, we're going to say, was Sarah sent email one? Yes, she was, because remember, she's being re-enrolled. So then we're going to add another if-then branch, and we're going to say, was, email, was Sarah sent email two? Sorry, just got to do this. If she was not sent email two, we're going to go ahead and send her email too. And then we're going to delay for three days. And then we're going to trigger another webhook. Again, we're going to make that a post. So after those three days, HubSpot's going to ping 7 cents. 7 cents is going to say for Sarah, her most optimal time is at 6 a.m. Sarah will come back into the top at 6 a.m. Was she sent email one? Yes, she was. Was she sent email two? Yes, she was. So we then want to say, was she sent email three? No, she was not. Send Sarah email three. Delay for three days. And then we're going to trigger a webhook. So Sarah's going to be sent email three. She's going to wait in the delay step for three days. HubSpot's going to ping us. We are going to ping HubSpot back in the next 24 hours at her most optimal time. So Sarah will come back into the top of the workflow. Was she sent email one? Yes, she was. Was she sent email two? Yes, she was. Was she sent email three? Yes, she was. 
We're then going to add one more if then branch. And was she sent email four? No, she was not. Sent her email four. And we're done. That is integrating seven cents in here. The only thing left is we now need to fill in the webhook details. So I'm going to come over to seven cents and I'm just going to create a very simple webhook and I'm going to go to marketing, webhooks, and then I'm going to click create. And so I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to copy this so that I can save myself some typing. We're going to name it the same thing. And here's all my workflows. And you do have to associate a workflow with a webhook. So right here, here's the one that we're working on. Little tip, if you scroll all the way down, that will be your new webhook, or that will be your new workflows. Then I have a couple of options. You can either do an immediate, which is HubSpot pings us, we immediately ping HubSpot back. We do not want to use those that option for uh, nurture campaigns. Then there's next 24 hours. That's when HubSpot pings us, we determine the most optimal time within the next 24 hours and re-enroll Sarah back into the workflow. Next week is, we will determine over the next week, when should you re-enroll Sarah. Now, we don't recommend utilizing this option very much, and the main reason is your workflow can go on for a long period of time if you do choose that. And then update only is a special webhook for customers that have very, very, very large lists, somewhere in the range of half a million to a million, uh, so that we can keep their list 100% up to date. So I'm just gonna select next 24 hours. I'm gonna click Create Webhook. I'm gonna X out. And then this is my new workflow that we just created. So you can see it right here. I'm gonna go into the Details tab. And here's the Webhook URL. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill out the webhook URL. And I'm going to say use authentication. And over here you'll see webhook username 320, webhook password. So I'm just going to say 320 and I'm going to click save now. And just to save me some typing, I'm going to go fill out these details so that I can alleviate having to do something here or alleviate having to do a lot of copying and pasting. And then I'm gonna go back over here, I'm gonna copy the password. And I'm just gonna fill that in. And as you can see, as I do this, all the alerts are going away. And I am now done integrating 7Sense into this traditional nurture campaign. There are other options. This is what you wanna use when you are having a list that is constantly being added to. But there are other options in utilizing 7Sense with other types of nurture campaigns. We'll cover that in another tutorial video. And that's it.